Hi everybody, it's Robin. I'm here with Nameless and we are going to do a, a floral. Okay, but it's going to be another rendition of a floral that I did that I want to do a different way. So I'm starting with purple, blue, white, gold and green, um, black. These are going to be in the leaves. This is going to be the tip and these are going to be the floral. So with the with um, this scrunchy brush that I have and um, it's okay. This has really, really wiry hairs, and they're hard. They're, they like stipple. Do you see how that, they're like really hard? Um, you can usually find these for, oh gosh, a whole bag of them for a nickel. <laughs> anyway, you just want a brush with hard bristles. And you could even use a toothbrush, I think, if you just, if you cut it down you could use a toothbrush. So, so um, that's if you don't have any brushes to work with. So um, I'm mixing up the black and white and you can almost hear it crunch the brush and, and do like a dark gray to start out with. And then just stipple onto it like this. And it's almost the same um, thing as using a sponge. You can use a sponge if you like. This gets it a little bit bright, a little bit more um, dotty and less uh, um, intertwined. So here's the lighter one. And then I'm gonna go again and stipple over the top of that like this. Okay, just a tiny bit of lighter gray. And then um, I can rinse out my brush there. And then when I'm done, just put that away and it's okay. Now I rarely ever use that brush. Now I'm going in with, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it back. <laughs> I know, it's cute. Uh-oh, there it goes. RobinMosesNailArt.com, this is the wand. This is what I use for everything. Okay, so with the white, I'm just using a little tiny drop on the end of my brush. Now this is going to take some time to master and, and who's to say if you even need the white, but I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of white here and there, just like that, just to punch out that, that color a little bit. And what that does is that makes a wool-like texture. So I wanted, I wanted, I had done the herringbone nails on Juicy, and I wanted to do it this way, but on her long, long nails, it, it, it might have looked like a um, galaxy nail, and that is not what I wanted at all. So I can do like a faux uh, wool on this, and um, do it the same way. When I'm done, I'm going to add like a, a dark, um, um, I'll, I'll find one and, me, and meet you back with the, what I use. But um, I think I even made one. I'll, I'll meet you back on that. But until I go, I'm ready for that. I'm just gonna go in with gold leaf and, and black right here, right here, and just start swirling. And I'm gonna just go in and leaf, add gold, add gold, and push it up into the French. Uh, the, the colors I used was Peacefully Me by Dazzle Dry and Black, Wet and Wild. And you see how when I just pushed in the black and gold and green, it just goes right onto the tips. This gives like such a very rich and elegant look and it's going to give it a warm look on the tips so i'm just going to finish that and meet you back with all the right glitters all right come on track there we are hi so okay now with purple i have it right there i'm going to go into the centers and then I'm gonna just fill a little tiny bit of purple areas in and out of the black down here. So I'm gonna have a few down in the in the bottom and, and a few up at the top of the Q. 
cuticle, I mean the left line. So there's that. And this goes here. When I'm done, it'll look like this. Just, just put like that. Okay. Now on the other color, I'm going to mix the, um, the what would the, what, what's this color nameless? Sky. Blue. Sky. <laughs> it's all a, blue to me, girl. <laughs> it's sky. It's sky bluish. <laughs> and there's, I have like one hair out of my pony, and it's like it might be on the camera there. <laughs> That'd be so funny if there was like a random hair like swirling around. Why is this not catching? There we go. I'm too close. There we go. Never thought, never thought I would say that. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I'm too close and in frame. <laughs> oh my god, objective met. Okay, so I'm going to do just some blue smaller Okay, because Nameless has really tiny nails. You can't tell. It, it, everything looks so gigantic on the screen. But I'm just going to put in some different purple and teal in here. Because these are kind of her favorite colors, right? And I haven't used them in a while, right? True that. Yeah. So I said, I'm going to do this. And unbeknownst to her, put some of her favorite colors in there. You're welcome. Thanks, Carol. You're welcome. So there's this. And that. Okay, so there. Just kind of go across the ends and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so now I have all the flowers laid out and I'm going to put the centers in now. So I'm using the dark blue, the, the straight out of the uh, thing, and then the dark purple that's straight out of the container. So in the centers, I'm just gonna pull in in a V motion and in, into a V motion, and you can go all the way and touch the middle area, and that just gives it dimension. Okay, and see how that just it just makes it look more pretty. So okay, then with the second ones go in like this and I mean you can you can use your own best judgment and just add some purple here and there and then the teal here and there and then just and just build up to where you have a little French manicure with um, floral across the centers then with the centers of the flowers and the gold just do a little dot these can be gems, they can be microbeads, they can be glitter, they can be anything you want. We're keeping it nice and flat. So there's that, and I'll meet you back, top coated. Okay, so yeah, you're stuck, it's okay. So anyways, here is the end result, and I'm gonna turn down the light so you guys can see more. I, I, I matte coated it so you can see, but do you see how it has the, uh, the, the effect of wool? Now that would be a wool instead of the herringbone. If you go into the Diva playlist, you'll see herringbone, and it's the same effect except for done with um, a different technique on the tips, but it's so cool. And, and this is perfect for winter nails or for um, cold weather nails. So anyway, since Nameless begrudgingly lets me do hearts, I said, well, at least I'll get away with flowers today. <laughs> Oh, thank right. you so much. Right. She can't stand hearts on her nails. So um, I'll do some more on, on uh, Miranda, my fake hand, wherever she is. <laughs> Mar Miranda. Uh, I've misplaced her. <laughs> Where's Miranda? Has anyone seen Miranda? <sighs> Evil client. What? You want some more hearts? You can do hearts as long as they're bleeding. Woo! Okay. Yeah. On to the next one. Everyone have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Bye.